and your love. All right. Hey, everyone. It is Hannah S. here at Spirit of Health in Grandview, Missouri. We're doing our herb time live at 3 o'clock every Monday. And today we're doing it on digestive herbs that support, nourish, heal the digestive tract. So please feel free to share this so that all your friends and family can see it. We're going to put some good information out there. Um, like it, follow so that you can see whenever a video pops up. And um, feel free to call 816-492-5648 with any questions. And um, the store website is store.spiritofhealthkc.com. So the first one we're going to talk about today is actually our digestive fire powder. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> digestive Don't, fire. Yeah, do not be intimidated. It is not spicy, but it is hot. So it's packed full of five Ayurvedic herbs. This is an Ayurvedic blend. So they've blended these herbs to help increase heat in the gut. So um, Ayurvedic medicine talks about how the gut should be like a burning cauldron, like bubbling cauldron. So we need heat to help our bodies to digest food. So this is really great for people with slow, sluggish digestion that are cold all the time. Um, sometimes you see your food coming straight through you and you really need help to heat up your gut so you can actually digest food, you can absorb it, you can utilize the nutrients properly. And this actually tastes really, really good. Like, oh my gosh, every time we open it, the smell just smells so good. So you can put it on food. Um, you can drink half a teaspoon before any meal. Um, and it's gonna be about like $1.40 an ounce. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one we have is our digestion aid tea, which is an old spirit of health classic. Um, <laughs> this one is definitely one of the most popular blends that we have, one of the teas. Um, it's very, very soothing, nourishing, healing to the whole gut. Um, it helps coat and um, helps move food through the body. Um, it's going to help with digestion. It's going to help aid digestion with the ginger. Um, it's going to help anyone that's suffering from like over acidic conditions. It really helps soothe and nourish and actually heal the gut. So people with ulcers or IBS, it can really help you guys. Um, I love drinking this one. It tastes really good. So you can easily drink it just by itself. You can add a little honey. You do a tablespoon in eight ounces of water. And what I like to do with my teas, with all the teas that we have, is I'll let it sit in a mason jar overnight and I'll make like a big batch of it. So I'll do like four cups worth. And then in the morning, just bring it to a boil and then turn it down to a low simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. Then I just let it sit on the stove and then I just strain it out um, or I strain it when I'm gonna drink it. So you can just sip on this throughout the day. It's really, really healing and soothing for the whole gut. Um, and it tastes really good too. So that is the digestion aid tea. Um, and that one ranges, it's about $1.90 an ounce. Um, but our pricing may vary a little bit. So <laughs> this is the stomach tea, which is a new blend that we have um, that Mike, our herb specialist, made up. And it actually is a blend very similar to Dr. Morse's stomach tea. Um, it is a really, really good one for similar issues with the digestion AT, for soothing, healing the stomach, the whole intestinal tract lining. I would say this one is like our beginner one because it tastes really good. It's um, really easy to ingest. Kids can do it with colic even. Um, this one, I would say, is just more advanced. It doesn't taste that great, honestly, <laughs> but there are some really good things in it like aloe vera, um, which actually is so healing. It's really good for the um, immune system and it actually increases your absorption by 300%, which is pretty amazing. Um, and you know, people put aloe vera on burns, on scrapes, wounds, so it's super healing to the whole gut lining. Um, it has some things that are gonna help soothe, nourish, heal the gut lining. Um, but it's, it's a similar one to this, but I would just say this is for people that really have those 
over acid conditions, um, colitis, gastritis, IBS, Crohn's, all those things. I know people that it has helped. So that's a really, really good one. And then we're gonna move to more of the colon here. Oh, and this stomach tea is the same thing. You do like a tablespoon and eight ounces of water, let it sit overnight, bring it to a boil, just let it simmer for like 15 minutes. Um, and this one is about $1.90 an ounce also. So here is the GI Broom. I love this powder. <laughs> Me too. It's so good. Honestly, I have it pretty often, like almost every morning. This is actually another blend similar to Dr. Morse's GI Broom. Um, so this one is amazing for getting toxins out of the bowels. It's amazing because I don't think we really realize the amount of toxins that we store in our colon, but people even could have 10, 20 pounds just in their colon of waste matter that needs to get out, which is crazy. I heard Elvis Presley actually passed away with 40 pounds in his colon, which is kind of insane. But anyways, this is going to help move the colon. It actually is very, very astringent. So it actually pulls toxins off the bowel walls and helps get them out. Um, and it's also going to be very healing also. You can do about a teaspoon in water on an empty stomach. So you want to do it two hours before or after a meal, morning or night. Or if you're cleansing, doing like a juice cleanse. I do it both. And it really helps get that old matter off the bowel walls. Um, so yeah, teaspoon right when you wake up with some warm water and then do even like a cup of water after that to really help flush everything out. Um, and then a teaspoon if you want to do right before bed, but definitely on an empty stomach. There's bentonite clay and activated charcoal in it. So if you take that with any um, sort of like herbs or any supplements, it actually can attach to that too because the drawing power is so strong. So you just want to take it on an empty stomach. Um, and the the GI broom can even be used for people that actually have like um, food poisoning. It can help with that. People traveling to different countries, you can take it in case you're getting an upset stomach from what you're eating because it will actually attach to the pathogens or whatever's causing an upset stomach. It's pretty amazing. Um, and that one's about 220 an ounce. Anna wanted to know, do these require teas require sticking close to the restroom? Oh, good question. Um, no, really, I would not say any of them do. The GI broom does help move your colon, though. Um, so, honestly, I notice when I take it, like, within the next hour, I will have a bowel movement. So, it helps move your bowels. But you're not going to be, like, running to the restroom with any of these. Um, yeah, I don't think that you would be with any of these. They're gentle. You can change how much you're taking of them. With like the digestive fire powder, you can start with even like a fourth a teaspoon if you just want to start small. But um, yeah, just experiment with them. You know, these are all just foods um, that are very healing and powerful for healing the body. So have fun with it. I love to mix teas even, so maybe try the digestive aid tea with the stomach tea. Try all different things. Um, but yes, our, if you want to order any, you can call us at 816-492-5648 or um, online. We have four ounce increments of the sizes and <clears throat> that would be store.spiritofhealthkc.com and we are open from 10 to 6 and we will see you guys on Thursday when Vaughn does his Facebook live for question and answer time with Vaughn. So this is Hannah S. Thank you guys all for joining in. We love you. Like it, share, um, and have a wonderful blessed day. Thanks.